made it to Las Vegas. Teleportation nowadays is such a breeze. Wait a minute, why? Why is everything so big? Ah, I must have shrunken down in the process. Nope, you've been miniaturized. Chuck, why are you here? Kim, I'm doing the thing I'm not Chuck, I'm Dr. Speed. Yes, I am Dr. Speed. Speed. Yes, yes, yes. I traveled through space and time to find the source of speed. Dr. Speed, why are we so small? Because objects in the rearview mirror are smaller than they appear. Thanks to Dr. Speed's technology, I've returned to normalcy. But the truckers certainly have it. Kyle Busch took home the top prize in his hometown. Do we mention Las Vegas is his hometown? Winning at home, Kyle victorious in Vegas. Though Brett Moffitt did try to take down the continuing reign of Bush, he just couldn't reach him. Moffitt said earlier today he felt like he had something for Kyle Busch, and he is showing it right now. Oh, better luck next time, Moffitt. I foresee many wins in your future. Just avoid the numbers five and one. Bush expected a triple header weekend thanks to the three C's, conviction, confidence, and certainty. It's cool to win here in your hometown and being in Las Vegas and starting off a triple weekend. Hopefully we can keep it going. And he was mostly right. After winning in the trucks, he went to Xfinity and beyond. Saturday afternoon, the Las Vegas native revealed his hand and took the drivers for all they had. A loose wheel and a caution tried, but failed to stop Kyle Busch. I uh, just knew to keep fighting and just keep working, and it was early enough so you can try to come back from one of those kinds of setbacks. While a big wreck in the first overtime thinned the field considerably. Oh no, there goes last week's winner, Christopher Bell. Sometimes it just isn't your day. Though I'm sure we'll be singing Bell's praises in the near future. John Hunter Nemechek gave Rowdy, and I quote, a run for his money. But KB walked away from the table with all the spoils intact. And that brings us to our next segment. Here's the word of the week. Home sweet home. Sweet hometown. Hometown. In the hometown. Your hometown. Kyle's hometown. Hometown. Apparently the Nevada desert and racing go hand in hand. <laughs> oh. Dr. Speed, can I ask you a question? Yes, Kim. What are the odds a driver sweeps all three races? The odds are? You're Kyle Busch. Thanks, Chuck. It's Dr. Speed. Thanks, Dr. Speed. Anyways, unfortunately, the odds were not in the 18's favor on Sunday because Joey Logano swooped in, stole Kyle's broom, and drove off into the sunset. Joey Logano is going to win the Penzoil 400 over teammate Brad Kislowski. I suppose it was fate since this was the Penzoil 400. Joey and Penzoil just go so well together. The 22 fended off teammate Brad Keselowski as they traded first and second position until Logano hit the jackpot. It ain't over till it's over. Logano's got to hold on. He's got a mirror full of Brad Keselowski down the devil straight away. Victorious and repping Penzoil, Joey set himself up for a great season. And yellow is definitely his color. That's it for Rearview Mirror. Check back in next week when... Are we serious? Dr. Speed returns and a phoenix rises.